Bonjour les étudiants. Today we are going to start lesson number one of your textbook Flambeau part two. Lesson number one is toujours les obligations, always the obligations. Let's start with the reading of the chapter. Nicolas joue avec ses amis. Nicolas is playing with his friends. The mother comes from inside and says, Nicolas, il faut étudier. Il ne faut pas jouer tout le temps. Nicola, one must study. One must not play all the time. Nicola regarde la télé. Now Nicola is watching television. Nicola, il faut aller dans ta chambre. Il ne faut pas regarder trop la télé. Now the mother comes and tells Nicola, one must go to the room and one must not watch television every time. Now, in the third picture, Nicola telephone a tsunami. Nicola is calling his friend. Mother says, Nicola, il faut ranger ta chambre, laisse la telephone. Nicola, one must arrange the room, leave the telephone. In the fourth picture, Nicola mange the burger. Now, Nicola is eating burger. Nicola, il ne faut pas manger de burger, il faut manger des fruits. Now the mother says, Nicola, one must not eat burger, one must eat fruits. In the last picture, Nicola sits sadly and says, Toujours les obligations, je n'aime pas les obligations. There are always obligations and I do not like obligations. So in this chapter, we are learning about the obligations and we are using a very common verb, falloir, which means obligation when we are obliged to do something we use this verb faluar it can be conjugated only in one way that is f a u t fo il fo and for negation we will use il na fo pa this means one must and one must not let's come to page number 7 Activité 1. Écris les obligations. La mère dit, il ne faut pas jouer. Now in this activity, you are going to write four things that the mother tells Nicola not to do. For example, il ne faut pas jouer. One must not play all the time. You can write three obligations that mother tells Nicola to follow. In activity 2, Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Now you need to tell what should one do. Example, il faut aller dans ta chambre. One must go back to the room. Similarly, you are going to write three more things that mother is telling Nicolas to do. Let's quickly come to the grammar of this chapter, which is les verbes en ER, the ER ending verbs. If you all remember, we have done ER ending verbs in part 1 of Flambeau in the last lesson. ER ending verbs are the verbs in French that end with ER and take new endings when they are conjugated with certain subjects. Before learning ER ending verbs, it is very important to know that in French we have six subjects. Je, tu, il, elle. No, vu, il, and elle. Now, since we are familiar with our subjects in French, let us start with the conjugation of ER ending verbs. The conjugation of ER ending verbs takes new endings that is E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, and E, N, T. Let's take an example of verb étudier. Étudier is an ER ending verb, and for conjugating this verb, we need to drop down ER. And the, now we are left with the radical of the verb that is etudi, E-T-U-D-I. Now we are going to add the new endings to etudi. Let's start with je, we'll put E, with tu, etudi, with E-S, with E-L, etudi, with E, with nu, etudi, with O-N-S, etudion, with vu, etudi, with E-Z, etudie, E-L-N-L, E-T-U-D-I-E-N-T which is again etudi. Now, 
Similarly, we can conjugate around 90% of the ER ending verbs using these endings. But it, there are exceptions to this also. Let's do the exceptions now. We have verb monje as an exception as it's a GER -E ending verb. It is ending with GER. Now, the verbs that end with GER have a very slight difference in conjugation as compared to the conjugation of regular ER ending verbs. The difference between these verbs is that the new form of these verbs take EONS for their endings instead of ONS. You can see on page number 7 with GER ending verbs, if you see the new form, it is taking another E in it for conjugation. Now the pronunciation of this also changes a bit. The pronunciation becomes nu mongeon and not nu mongeon. We also need to keep in mind a very important thing that si il y a the verb dans une phrase on conjugue, on conjugue seulement la première verbe la deuxième reste à l'infinitif. This means that if there are two verbs in a sentence, we conjugate only the first verb and the second remains infinitive. Please keep that in mind that the second verb in any sentence in French is never conjugated. Only the first verb is conjugated. Now coming to page number 8. On page number 8, let's observe and complete the verbs in ER. The very first verb has been done for you, that is parler. It's a very common ER ending verb which means to speak. Now, if you see the conjugation of parler here, je parle, tu parles, il, elle parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, and il, elle parle. Now, if you see the endings, they have dropped ER. And PARL remains same in the whole conjugation and they have added a new ending to it. With JE it's E, with TU it's ES, with ELL it's E, with NO ONS, VU, EZ and with ILS and ELLES it is ENT. Let's pronounce the verb once JE PARL, TU PARL, ELL PARL, NO PARLONS and Now with the help of endings given above, you need to conjugate verb jouer in the books and the following verbs that is regarder, monter, telephoner, écouter, étudier in your notebooks. Now at the end of the page, they have clearly written Attention au verb en GER. This means you have to be very careful while you are conjugating the GER ending verbs. So, you also need to do the conjugation of these verbs in your notebooks. That is GER ending verbs. Manger, ronger, voyager and nager. Meanings of these verbs are Manger means to eat, ronger means to arrange, voyager means to travel and nager means to swim. They have given you space for monje here, but since you people do not have your books right now, you people can do all of these in your notebooks. Now quickly let's come to activity 3, that is activity 3, choisi la bonne réponse. Now here you need to choose the correct conjugation out of the three boxes given to you as options. Il dash le chocolat, he dash the chocolate. The three options given to you are Monch with S, Monch with E, Monch with E and T. Now you all know that with il, the ending of the verb is M-A-N-G-E. So the correct answer is the second one, M-A-N-G-E. And looking at this, you will be also trying the other parts of this activity. And then we will be further starting with la negation. Let us start with the next topic, la negation. On page number 9. For making a negative sentence in French, always keep in mind that we need two very important words that is ne and pa. To make a negative sentence, we add ne before the verb and pa after the verb. 
So it is very important for you all to recognize the verb in the sentence. Once you recognize the verb in the sentence, you can easily put na and pa in front and after the verb. Let's read the examples. Je ne parle pas. If you see the words in yellow, na and pa are made are used to make a negative sentence. The positive sentence is je parle, which means I speak. Now, if I want to make it negative, I will use na and pa. Je ne parle pas. Similarly, the second example says il ne aime pas. The positive sentence says il aime, he likes. Now, for making it negative, we need ne and pa. Now, if you see, the ne here has changed to an apostrophe. Why has it changed to an apostrophe? Because now it is followed by a vowel. M is starting with a vowel. And yes, you also need to keep in mind that if there are two verbs in a sentence, then you need to make the first verb negative always. Let's read an example for this also. J'aime parler en français. I like to speak in French. Now, how do we make the negative of the sentence? Je n'aime pas parler en français. I do not like to speak in French. So, ne and pa will be put in front of the first verb that is aim and the second verb will be left as it is now let's come to activity 4 that is activity 4 met si phrase a la forma negative now you need to make the sentences negative for making these sentences negative you first need to trace the verb in the sentence so let's come let's start with the first one tu parles français do you speak french now here parler is the verb which is the second word of the sentence. If you can see, pal, tu pal. So, pal is the verb. Now, we need to put negation in front and after this verb. So, the sentence will be, tu ne pal pa français. Tu ne pal pa français. Let's do another example. Elle chante bien. She sings very well. So, now, here the second word, that is shant is our verb. So for making it negative, we need to put na and pa before and after this verb. Elle ne chante pas bien. She does not sing well. So na and pa will be before shant and after shant. Now the remaining parts I am leaving to you. You will be trying these on your own and doing it in your notebooks.